Tub Talk with the Hot Tub Lady, and wow, do we have an echo today. Let's see what I can do to fix that real quick. Hey, hey, hot tubbers, welcome to the podcast Tub Talk with the Hot Tub Lady, and I am your host, Jackie Johnson, and today we are going to talk about how to use your hot tub to beat the heat, because it, with this heat dome that's going on right now, oh my gosh, it's not terrible here in South Dakota, but I've got a lot of family down in Arizona, and um, California and Nevada and oh my gosh, 115 for like, I don't know, 12, 15 days in a row. And, uh, it's supposed to get warmer here. My family down in Nebraska is going to get it this week. I was going to get it this week. So it is definitely super hot out there. And the last thing people are thinking about is hot tubbing. And I'm just going to try to come up with some really cute ideas, good ideas that can help you guys actually enjoy your hot tub and maybe we can uh, teach you some things that will help you get along a little better with your hot tub and you can turn it down and you can actually cool off. So one of the first things I want to talk about is you don't have to have your hot tub like at 80 degrees to, to really enjoy it as a cool tub. Um, now this is different than, than the, the cold plunges that everybody's talking about right now. And that's a really big thing and, and it's coming and I'm, and I'm sure I'm going to be selling him, selling them here before too long, but, uh, the cold plunges are coming. They're really good for you. But w what we're trying to do here is to help you beat the heat with the hot tub. And to do that, one of the things that you can do is if you just get it below 98 degrees, it is going to cool you down. It is going to take your, your body temperature down. Just like in the winter when a hot tub is at 104 and it heats you up 20 times, the water heats you up 20 times faster than it does when you're just in a, in a room. So it'll heat you up 20 times faster. It'll also cool you down 20 times faster. So if you're below 98 degrees, you're below body temperature, and that will cool you down. So you can get it, you know, 92, 96, somewhere in there, and that is actually going to be refreshing. It's going to cool your core, and it's going to help you beat this heat that's going on right now. So don't feel like you have to get it all the way down to a uh, a cold plunge type hot tub we just need to get it where it's it's cooler than your body temperature so there's just you know I got a few tips for you and hopefully if you guys have any questions be sure to jump in and ask yourself but I've got a really good hack here here that uh I think that you guys are going to find pr pretty awesome and I'm going to do a video on that later today so but we'll I'll tell you guys about that during the podcast but one of the first things I have is the smart control in hot springs and caldera they have that but what that is it's it's a device you install on your hot tub and you can actually control the jets you can control the temperature you can also control your salt systems and that type of thing but that's one of those smart controls that you can run that can actually help you keep that temperature cooler and make you think about it a little more often because if you just leave it set, like right now my hot tub is set at 101 degrees. Here in South Dakota, we haven't broke 100 yet, but that's coming. Um, we should see it this week that we'll break over 100 degrees, but we haven't done it yet. So the ambient temperature outside is not hotter than my hot tub, and I have my hot tub set at 101 degrees. But if I would have one of these, I could actually turn that down, knowing you know Frank's out there doing his UPS job and – He's hot. He came home last night, and the first thing he did, he, is jump, he jumped in the pool. If I didn't have a pool, that we could, he could definitely jump into the hot tub. So, But these smart controls, they're a really good way to do it. You can just manually go out and do it, but if you have it on your phone, it just makes it really convenient, and that's just one of the cool things that Hot Springs does. Uh, and again, Caldera has that as well. I think Jacuzzi and Sundance have something like this as well. But but they are something that you can do that can help you keep that temperature down. And again, if you only set it like at 95, 90, 98 or so, it'll keep your, your hot tub cooler. Now, one of the things that I would, would mention to you that all manufacturers assume, all manufacturers assume that if a hot tub is within two degrees of the 
temperature you have set, then that's considered an okay range. So if you're with it, if you have it set at 95 and your hot tub's actually running at 97, that's considered an okay range. So you may want to turn it down to like 92 or something like that. You can turn it all the way down to 80 if you want to. When you're just sitting in a hot tub, I don't find that as, as enjoyable as I would just like hanging out in a pool, but it, you can do that, but some hot tubs, when they're circulating, and that's what I'm going to talk about now, is when the water is circulating, you can't turn those heaters off. So you can turn the temperature way down, but you can't turn the heater off. And it is really important that your hot tub is continues to circulate, especially in this heat. This heat and a hot tub and the insulation and keeping that water warm, is it's 100% makes that hot tub more prone to get algae, to um, not stay clean. The sanitizers have to work harder. This is just a really hard temperature. It's an ultimate temperature for bacteria to multiply. So if you can, if you get that temperature down, make sure that you are keeping that water circulating. And one of the things that I want to talk about on that is you can do a summer timer. Uh, so there's summer timers. This is also called economy mode. This is called sleep mode. This there's a lot of things that you can do to help cool your cool your hot tub down. And on the hot spring side of things, if so, I brought out my my control here. But it's real simple to do. You just go into settings, and then you find the summer timer down here at the bottom. You just hold that down, and then that turns on your summer timer. Once you turn on the summer timer, what you are doing is you're turning the circulation pump or the heater off for eight hours a day. So when now that I have done that, my heater is not going to run for eight hours a day. So my hot tub is going to be cooler in general. And like the hot springs, hot tubs and the calderas and the jacuzzis and Sundance with all those circulation pumps, those circulation pumps are also also putting off heat and if for sure on the on the Watkins products that heat is transferred back into the hot tub that is what makes it so incredibly so incredibly efficient and that's one of the reasons why you want to want to get one of those hot tubs but if your hot tub is efficient because of that circulation pump it's going to cost you less to run in the winter and that type of thing but if you turn off that heater for eight hours a day again that's going to be your economy mode that's going to be your summer timer that's going to be your sleep mode any one of those three on your hot tub will turn off that heater for a while and that will help keep that hot tub cooler and that's a really big important thing to do and the one thing i would tell you especially those of us that live in the midwest where it does get really cold if you turn that summer timer on please set a reminder on your phone October somewhere in there to turn your summer timer off because if you don't turn that summer timer off and it does get below 42 which it can do around here then you don't have heater for eight hours a day and you're really setting your hot yourself up for some major damage down the road so that's I'm not a big fan of the summer timer especially in this part of the world but it is for some of you out there at 115 degrees for 40 days in a row, we've got to help you guys out. So you've got to do that summer timer mode. And then if you get that cool zone, um, which I'm going to talk about right now, um, the cool zone is another project or another product that Hot Springs has. Let me go back to my screen share. And that, let's go over to the cool zone. That's a great little, it's just a little, um, it's it's a little air or a, it's a pump. It's what it does is it takes the hot water in the hot tub and it cools it down and it cools it down very quickly. So you can add that to your hot tub. You do have to hire a, a, a HVAC guy to hook it up. So it is it is a heat pump. So that's basically what it is. This is a tiny little heat pump. So but it helps cool that hot tub down and it can actually get that hot tub cooled down to about sixty degrees in four hours and it can also heat it right back up to 60 degrees in four hours it's a great product those of you down south where it is just brutal right now highly recommend them and you should get them and it works incredibly well and a lot of people are taking them and they're turning 
their hot tubs into cold plunges with this. So that is one of the way hot springs and caldera that's they're helping people get into that cold plunge therapy with just by adding the, the cool zone to their hot tub. But it's, it's this little device right there that's that little heat pump. It's designed just to work for the hot tub that heats and cools your hot tub. It's super energy efficient, so it saves energy. It's green. It's something that you want to do, but it's, it's really good for, for cooling down your hot tub. So that's another really, really good trick that you can do to get, get that hot tub cooled down. And let's... So we talked about smart temperatures, we talked about water circulation, we talked about summer timers. This is a trick that I learned, I've been in the industry for what, you guys know, almost 30 years now, and this is a trick that I learned literally like four years ago, and that is to just add water to the hot tub. If you need to cool it down, you got grandkids coming over and you want want to make it a cooler hot tub, is literally just add water to, to it, and it'll actually drop the temperature a good 10, 15 degrees in, in a matter of just a few minutes. So th that's something that you can definitely do. It works really well. Um, I did have the grandkids over, or, or the neighbor kids were over, and I actually just put cold water in it and just let it run and actually let it run over for a little bit. And that worked really well. That was a good way to cool the hot tub down so that they could enjoy it. Now, when you do that, especially those of us on salt systems, it's not the ideal situation because you do want to keep your water balance. That is a super those of you with saltwater hot tubs, we know what a big deal it is to have that water balanced. And just, just for a refresher for everyone, your water balance that you want on your hot tub is you always want to start with your alkalinity, and that needs to be between 40 and 120. Then you want to do your pH, and your pH needs to be at 7.6. If you have a saltwater hot tub, you need to have your hardness at 70, 75 part per million or lower. And that's where you kind of get in trouble by just adding water to your hot tub. But that is something that you can do um, if, you, if you just want to cool down and, and you need some relief. That's, that's something you can do. But you are going to have to figure out that balance. And that might be where the... Um, Oh, I guess I'm drawing a blank. The the pillow that you can put in the vanishing act. That vanishing act works really well. I'll make sure to get the link in the show notes. But the vanishing act works really well on getting rid of that hardness. If you do just end up adding water and have to remove have to remove the hardness afterwards, that's probably the biggest thing we run into in this part of the world. If we just add water to the hot tub and we're saltwater hot tubs, we're adding hardness to that. And then, you, of course, you want to keep your chlorine or your sanitizer at a three to five part per million. And when you're adding water, you're diluting that down too. So if you just add water to cool your hot tub down, just make sure that you get the water balance and kind of kind of do what you have to do there. Um, other things to think about is come up with some shades. Um, at our place for, for the 4th of July, we actually just added some shades and some shelter to our, our area out there. I'll make sure and p uh, post some pictures on Instagram that you guys can check out on that. But the shade that we did, we just I just got it here at Amazon, and I'll show you guys that. But it's it was pretty, pretty affordable, um, and it's just a hand crank one. If you look, there's some out there that are electronic, and, and they can just – to open them and close them. Umbrellas do amazing things, as we all know in the world today. You definitely want to, you, you get shade wherever you can get it. And if you can get your hot tub in the shade, that will help. That will help a lot as far as keeping it cooler and in helping you keep it, keep it where it, it works. But that's, that's something that works really good. Um, Another thing to think about when it comes to keeping beating the heat is the time of day that you use it. The like I used mine this morning. Um, I I was in mine about seven fifteen, seven thirty this morning, 
and it was like only 85 degrees out so it was really comfortable i enjoyed my hot tub at that time of day if i wait till three o'clock in the afternoon there is no way that i'm going to be able to use the hot tub at that time today i think we're supposed to hit i think we're supposed to get up at 95 today and that's just too warm even with me turning my summer timer on right now and doing that i just i wouldn't be able to use the hot tub at this point in the day but that's just kind of think about that use it when the sun's down use it first thing in the morning um, use it in the evening after the sun goes down. Uh, if you have that summer timer on, that that heater is sh- shut off for eight day, eight hours a day, and that works works really well. So um, you can definitely do that. Um, but those are definitely some, some quick tri- quick tips that you can do to cool down your hot tub. But my secret hack, I do have a secret hack, and um, this one I just absolutely love. I'm going to shoot. I am going to actually shoot a video, a full video, so you guys can see all the results of everything that happens with that. But let me let me grab it for you here. This is just a gallon, old gallon of milk that I filled with water and I froze it. So now it is a frozen block of ice that is sealed. I am going to put this in the hot tub. And I'm guessing it's going to cool the hot tub down probably 7 to 10 out, seven to ten degrees within 10 to 15 minutes. But I will uh, Sunday's video will be the full, full results of this, this particular block of ice and what happens. And maybe you do two. Maybe you, you have two of them ready to go. But if you put this in your hot tub and you're not going to mess with, you're not going to jack with the balance, you're not going to mess up with anything, but you've got this this block of ice in your hot tub it's going to cool it down and you're going to make it really enjoyable and then you just reuse it over and over again you're not wasting water you're being green for the environment and you're recycling the the milk jug you just have to have space in your heater you know that's how we used to that's how we used to when i was a kid that's how we would uh pack the the cooler for for camping is we would just freeze gallons of water and that would be our drinking water. And it'd also be the ice that kept the cooler cold. But I was like, why wouldn't that work for a hot tub? Um, So that's going to, that's my secret hack for, for this week. And then again, I'll show, I'll have a very detailed video on Sunday that that'll come out. That'll tell you guys everything about that. But that's, that's what I've got as far as keeping your hot tub cooler. It is a great place to actually enjoy the summer a little bit your hot tub everybody thinks oh it's too hot to even think about hot tubbing and as a salesperson it is harder to sell hot tubs this time of year Uh, people just aren't thinking about it when it when it gets this hot we have this big heat dome but you can really do a lot of really cool things and especially if you do something like invest in that cool zone and then you don't have to buy a cold plunge down the road because the benefits of those cold plunges is absolutely amazing and that's going to be the next thing that's that's out there and I know I'm going to be selling those and then we'll probably have some videos about cold plunges as well um so they're they they kind of scare me a little bit I don't I don't know about how I feel about jumping in ice water but they say you know if you get into 50 50 degrees or so the the benefits that it does for your body is just absolutely amazing so these are just some things that you can do and make your hot tub just more enjoyable, give you 12 months of use versus seven months of use or something like that. But I hope you find them helpful. Uh, make sure you guys give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, shoot them out now, and I will definitely answer those. But otherwise, I will see you guys next Tuesday. I believe um, I've got Jim Walls coming back on here pretty soon, and we've got uh, BioGuard gals are coming, and I have somebody from the – one of the filter companies coming so i've got lots of cool guests coming and we're we're just going to keep keep continuing talking about hot tubs and i really appreciate you guys and thanks for helping me help you become a happy hot tub owner